Hello, it's Snug Sites from the Minecraft Furniture Server here. In this video, I want to show you the six main couch types. There's obviously more than six types of couches you can make, but these are the major ones, and this is what most other couch designs stem from, um, the variations of these. So let's get stuck into it with the very basic one that everybody knows now. I call it the minor range. It's, it's the basic go-to couch. It's just a couple of stairs with signs on the side, not much to really look at and not much more to say about this one except if you're going to use the same material for the couch as the floor I recommend always putting some carpet around so that it doesn't blend in so much and it really pops out. Another thing you can do too is decorate the arms of the couch by putting some symbols on the sides like this and the at symbol also looks pretty good too. So moving on to the next and also a very basic couch design, I call this the Explorer range. This is just slabs with signs surrounding. Very easy. This looks quite cool if you have the space to actually put some full blocks into the wall behind the couch and then the signs on the side and it looks like a slightly raised back, which creates good dimensions for a realistic couch shape. Okay, so the third couch we're going to make is the Meridian and this just uses stairs for arms and slabs in the middle with some full blocks across the back. Of course this can be built with a wide range of materials as well and often looks quite good with pressure plates across the back for a little bit more detail. The fourth couch I'm going to make is the Spelunker and this is also a very basic but great looking couch that uh, that is probably the most common design. It's available in a wide range of colours and materials uh, and looks great in many settings. Now building this couch on a slab floor gives you the opportunity to use wool for the sitting or the cushion area and it looks a little bit more comfortable. Now the reason why I give all of these couches names is because I think it's a lot easier to say to someone I think you should put a meridian in the corner than saying something like I think you should build that couch that has the stairs that face outwards and have the full blocks and the slabs in the middle you know what I mean, it's, you can call them what you like I think it's quite cool giving them names and, uh, and a lot easier to share ideas this way Now the fifth couch that I'll be showing you is called the Stratum and this uses upside down stairs to create legs on the couch. So I'll just place two upside down stairs to create the legs and two more on the other side. and you can put your choice of material in the middle to create the back and the cushions. Now this doesn't look particularly comfortable to sit on, um, so building this on a slab floor gives you the opportunity to use um, wool blocks for the cushions. And as you'll see here it's actually easier to make on a slab floor too, we just need to place a couple of stairs like so and then put some slabs on top and then I'll put the wool in the floor you can also have a higher backing on the couch which gives good dimensions so the sixth couch that we'll build is called the Adventus and this uses upside down stairs again for the arms but this time they face away from the couch so this achieves chunkier looking arms on the side of the couch um, to give a more recognisable couch look. So I'll just place the upside down stairs here facing me. And then a couple of full blocks and some slabs in the middle.
and then you can build up the back of this couch to give it a better look. And why not put some colour in here too. And again, building this on a slab floor will give it a more comfortable looking seat. Um, I'll show you how to build this. Same as with the stratum, this is also easier to build on the slab floor, you just need a couple of stairs and then your slabs on top and then uh, your choice of colour for the cushion and uh, backing so there's what I think are the six main types of couches I'm sure you'll come up with your own variations and styles and the next time you want to put a couch in your house that's a little bit more interesting than the old minor range I hope you remember what you saw here today. Thanks for watching, bye for now.